The AI industry has gotten caught red-handed running one of the biggest scams in tech history. Every time you pay for those extra reasoning models that think longer and deeper, you're actually paying more to make AI dumber. Two groundbreaking research papers from Anthropic and other inst top institutions just shattered everything we thought we knew about AI reasoning. So while companies like OpenAI are ch charging you premium prices for models that think harder, scientists discovered that these models actually perform worse the more that they reason. So if your reasoning models get distracted by irrelevant information like a toddler with ADHD, then you're seeing this. Are you watching your token costs explode while accuracy plummets? The data is in, it's absolutely devastating for the reasoning models, and I'm gonna go through it all to, for you. Today. So the AI reasoning revolution just hit a massive reality wall, and the results are pretty shocking. So remember when everyone was convinced that the more thinking time automatically meant that the AI was smarter? Well, researchers just proved that this is complete nonsense. After analyzing models from OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and others, they found that five distinct ways that extend reasoning make AI models actually horribly worse. So today I'm breaking down the most uh, interesting discoveries that expose reasoning models as an expensive token burning scam. Now, Claude models became increasingly distracted by irrelevant information when given more time to think, completely losing focus on the actual problems at hand. Researchers tested simple counting tasks like you have an apple and an orange, calculate how many fruit you have with, math with mathematical distractions thrown in. Now, instead of ignoring the irrelevant probability statements and riddles, Claude spent more tokens obsessing over the completely unre unrelated calculations. So the accuracy dropped from near perfect performance to around 85 to 90% simply because the model couldn't resist chasing shiny mathematical objects. Now this pattern held consistently across multiple Claude versions, proving that longer reasoning doesn't create focus, it actually ruins it. So you literally are paying premium prices to watch AI models lose their mind over irrelevant details like a dog chasing squirrels. Now, OpenAI's O series, right? Their O series, which was supposed to be the reasoning series, right? Those models don't get distracted like Claude, but they fall into an even more expensive trap, which is called overfitting to familiar problem patterns. So when these models encounter problems that look like famous paradoxes or well-known puzzle types, they immediately attempt to apply complex memorized solutions. So let me say this another way. What they've been trained to try to solve these very particular problems. So if something you give it looks kind of like those, it tries to fit to those and that's called overfitting, right? Meaning it has this long list of these patterns that it wants to try to follow, solve. So like for instance, for a long time, OpenAI gave the wrong number of how many R's there are in strawberry, right? And so what it did is it trained it on the, at that actual test case, right? So if you go, come along and say, hey, how many R's are there in, Mississippi, it actually could sit there and just spin over and over again looking for R's because there's no R's, but it's trying to fit to that model. Now, researchers found that the O-series models would recognize framing like a birthday paradox and start calculating complex probability theories for simple counting questions. So this overfitting actually gets worse with more reasoning time as the models double down on inappropriate solution approaches. Now, the longer you let them think, the more convinced they become that simple problems require PhD level mathematic frameworks. So that's the problem here. Now, what it ends up doing is just sitting there and burning your tokens. So for while you're paying for tokens, uh, you're paying for the tokens while the model convinces itself that it's counting requires more than just like, you know, calculated uh, calculus and things instead of just basic arithmetic. So let's go over the reports because I don't want you guys to think I'm just making this up here. So this is the first one of these, and it says inverse scaling and test time compute. So we construct evaluation tasks while extending the reasoning length of large language models, deteriorates performance, exhibiting an inverse scaling relationship between test time compute and accuracy. Our evaluation tasks span four categories, and it goes through the four categories here. But these findings suggest that while time computing scales remain promising for, model, for improving model capabilities, it may inadvertently reinforce problematic reasoning patterns. Our result demonstrates the importance of evaluating models across diverse reasoning lengths to identify these dress models. Now, this is the actual paper, and if you go through and look at all of this, you'll actually see that it's Anthropic, 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 folks from universities, Anthropic Fellow Program, Anthropic, right? So a lot of Anthropic here, and they actually kind of abuse on even Anthropic to say that their reasoning models uh, don't uh, aren't as good, right? Our result demonstrate the importance of evaluating models across diverse reasoning lengths to identify and redress the failure models in LRMs. So it goes through this and, and breaks this all down for you, but I've given kind of a, a brief overview to this. Now there was one particular chart in here I think I wanted to show. Um, 
maybe it's in the other report. So this is, uh, but so this is what we're breaking down and it gets really scientific. Let me see if it's down here toward the bottom. It's a really long paper, but um, yeah. So, um, but we, I've kind of summed it up for you here and before. Let's talk about this one. It says it's chain of thought reasoning of LMs or Mirage, a data distribution list. So chain of thought, right? Which is what the, a lot of the reasoning are, right? It means it chains thought. So it puts one to another, to another. That's what it's, it's calling chain of thought. Prompting has been shown to improve large language model performance on various tasks. When this approach appears to be uh, produce human-like reasoning, and that's what it's saying it, it, it's supposed to be here, right? This work to deal with center why chain of thought reasoning fails, emphasizing the ongoing challenge of achieving genuine and generalized reasoning, right? So this one goes on to talk about the overfitting problem, uh, which, you know, which, um, uh, which comes to this, right? Our results reveal that chain of thought reasoning is a brittle mirage that vanishes when it when it is pushed beyond training distribution. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment, perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.